Do you suggest any steps after an upgrade to SQL Server 2022 in particular? I mean 2022 features to try, enjoy, or tweak. I'm not asking for generic migration advice. So here's the thing. Change equals risk. Change equals risk. Change equals risk. This is an important thing to be aware of when you're working with database applications. Anytime that you make a change, you are running a risk that things are going to perform better. You're also running a risk that things are going to perform worse. There is no one best practice, turn this feature on and everything will go faster. There are buttons you can push to make some things go faster, but they can also make other things go slower. So of course, I want to make sure that whatever buttons you push, they're going to make things universally faster altogether. Otherwise, you're just introducing unpredictability into your environment. Don't do that. Instead, take a step back and say, what's the problem that I need to solve? What is it that your users are saying, this part is slow, this part is having a problem? And if your users are saying, everything is slow, then you don't have a feature thing you need to change. You have a hardware thing or an index thing or a query tuning thing that you need to work on. Typically, it's a hardware thing if they say everything is slow. So hopefully that gives you advice. That, that's why there isn't, there's some chapter in the Microsoft Books Online inside the documentation that says, as soon as you upgrade, turn this feature on. If there was something like that, it would just be built into the product, right? It's not like they would make it a switch. They would just make it so that when you upgraded, everything got better. They would build it directly into the product, but of course they don't do that. They gatekeep things behind switches because there are risks whenever you upgrade. So there you go.